In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about calculating the standard deviation and variance. They're both related. This isn't high definition, so click on 720 before you click the uh, full screen view. It's the button right there. A typical problem looks like this. The following are the number of jobs, a sample of six people applied for, find the mean, the variance, and standard deviation, blah, blah, blah. What you really are interested in are just the numbers and how to calculate the variance and standard deviation. And that's what I'm going to do here. The sample standard deviation is equal to the square root of the sample variance. And these are the symbols I'm going to use. And the first thing I'm going to calculate is the sample variance. The sample variance is this formula right here. And we'll take the square root of that to get the standard deviation. The xi, that's the observations. The x bar, that's the mean. And we'll go through the calculations of these, each one of these two. And n is the sample size. I'm going to make a little table to help me stay organized. I'd recommend that you do the same. I'm going to put in the x, which is my observation. And then I'm going to put a little line, horizontal line, and then I'm going to do an up and down vertical line as well. The next column is the mean x bar that's the mean the sample mean put a little vertical line as well now i'll just put in all the observations and that's the same as above and a line and i'm going to put a couple more column headings in and you'll see, i'll tell you what those mean as we fill them in but just go ahead and write them in now and that's the observation minus the mean squared so I need to calculate the mean, and that's equal to the sum of all my observations divided by the number of observations. So if I add up all my observations, that column right there, that equals 84. Now I take that 84, and I put it right on top of that equation right there, and that's my numerator divided by 6, and that equals the, my mean, which is 14 jobs. Now I take that 14 and put it right there in that column. And when the whole column is going to be filled with 14s. Now the next column over is the observation minus the mean, like 17 minus 14. And of course that is equal to 3. Then I have 15 minus 14, and that's equal to 1. 23 minus 14, that's equal to 9. 7 minus 14, that's a negative 7. 9 minus 14, that's negative 5. 13 minus 14, that's negative 1. If I add up this column, it should always add up to 0. Always 0. That's a good way to check your numbers, too. Now, my last column, I take the previous column and I square it. So 3 squared is 9. 1 squared is 1. 9 squared is 81. Negative 7 squared is 49. Doesn't matter if we use a negative as sign or not, it's 49. Same with 5 squared is 25. Negative 1 squared is 1. I dropped the negative sign, but it's still always positive. Now I add up this column of information, and it's 166. The 166 is actually the numerator of, this, of that equation. So that's the same thing. So I can say the sample variance, which I have as s squared is equal to 166 divided by divided by n minus 1. n is 6, so it's 6 minus 1, which of course is 5. So the sample variance is equal to 33.2. Now if I take that 33.2 and take the square root of that, that's the sample standard deviation, which is equal to, s is equal to 5.76. Now I'll summarize for you. The sample variance is equal to 33.2 job squared. Job squared is a unit. Sample standard deviation is equal to 5.76 jobs. The sample mean is equal to 14 jobs. Notice that the standard deviation and sample mean are in the same units, which so they can be compared with each other as well. 
and this has just been a slight review or introduction to calculating the standard deviation and the variance.